my name's Tracy Yeo, and welcome to Temple Talks. <laughs> Wait a second. That's better. So, a lot of you may not know me, but I am the owner and operator and lead performer of Royalty Princesses and Superheroes here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. A little background about me. I am originally from Iowa, and I graduated with my degree in musical theater from Clark University. After my graduation, I went and toured with the National Theater for Children for three amazing seasons. I actually did a lot of my performances down here in the Carolinas. Well, when I was touring with them, that was when I really discovered my love of children's theater. And at the same time that I was touring, princess parties were becoming hugely popular around the United States. I don't think you understand just how many people have princess parties and how many companies really are out there. But the crazy thing was, there was not one in my hometown. So, of course, I packed my bags and I moved back to Dubuque, Iowa, and I decided to start my own company. My main goal in starting a princess party company was making sure that my parties were affordable for any family in any financial situation. A lot of princess party companies out there charge $250 for a single character for a single hour, and I just could not see myself charging that much. Now, I do understand why they charge that much, though. A lot of the behind the scenes work, they have to outsource because they don't have the knowledge or the skill to do it themselves. Thankfully, with my musical theater degree, I know how to style a wig from a single bass wig. I know how to mend and construct my own costumes. So a lot of what I learned at Clark University translated into me being able to start this princess business and make it what it is today. Now, why am I down here? <laughs> well, I got married to a military man, as most people have down here, so I had to move my company. Now, it hasn't been easy transitioning from up in the Midwest to down in the South, but I have in the last year had my characters at Cross Creek Mall regularly and also the libraries. We are also hoping that the season still goes on, but we are scheduled to have some meet and greets with the woodpeckers this year as well, which I am so excited for. Now, you're probably asking, what is my connection to Temple Theater? Well, I was in Oliver this past fall as Charlotte, and I also was in this sadly cut too short run of Steel Magnolias as Shelby. I am so grateful for Temple Theater. This past year has been amazing being able to work with them. Not only have I been able to hone some skills that I haven't been able to in many years, but I have met the most amazing people. Not to mention, a lot of those people have ended up being able to come and do characters for me, which is something that I am so eternally grateful for. Because the temple has done so many good things for me in the last year, from giving me a theater to really call a home down here in the South, to helping me meet the most amazing performers that I would have never met otherwise, I would really like to organize a princess event at the temple once this quarantine is over. So if you guys would be interested in attending a princess sing-along where all proceeds would go to them, please let me know in the comments below. And also let me know which characters your children would really like to see. Thank you for watching and have an absolutely magical day.